good morning you guys i feel amazing today i'm just getting over a sickness i was sick for a few days took like a few half days off i couldn't take them off completely because i had so much work to do but we're back we're better and you know like after you get sick and you kind of take days off or slow days or whatever it is and you come back and you're like holy shit i feel amazing i'm gonna conquer the days because now i can actually have energy to do things that's exactly how i feel and i feel like it's exactly the reset that my body needed so it almost happened for a reason because my body was like you need to slow down take a few days off and you will feel so much more rejuvenated sometimes you like need to be lazy in order to make yourself have more motivation if that makes sense when i'm sitting on the couch for a while or laying in bed like when i'm sick the last thing i want to do is like keep laying in bed i just want to go out and work out or do something and it's like irking me but then if i'm getting burnt out the last thing i want to do is go work out i want to go sit in bed so it's like you have to constantly have that balance in order to keep yourself from not burning out and also just overall to keep balanced so anyways yeah i feel so much better my voice might still be a bit nasally but i do feel so much better so don't mind that when i'm filming this the first day of summer is coming up i'm pretty sure it's like very very soon so i thought i'd get a little bit of a head start on things and do a summer reset i have a list of things that i want to get done that i have kind of been putting off and that need to be done for this next season because we're going in with new energy we want to cleanse energy i just feel like it's su super important to do so especially heading into a new season and summer is like the best so you want to make sure your energy is cleansed for that so that's what we're going to do today i'm just going to the gym this morning with joel as usual so i'm just going to go get ready for the gym and then we're going to head to go work out i feel like that's going to be the perfect way to start this reset because i haven't worked out in like i would want to say including the weekend like a week now so it's going to feel so nice just to get back into the gym i'm going to take it really light and i'm pretty sure just walk on the treadmill because i don't want to push my body too hard since it's my first day back into things i'm a bit nasally and a tiny tiny bit congested even though like my energy's back and i'm feeling great i still don't want to like you know over run push my body so then me get worse so that's the plan for today it's currently 5 30 so i gotta get going because we're gonna leave the house soon and yeah let's do a summer 2024 reset i'm really excited so let's get going cheers to that I got these new ice cube trays and they make the coolest ice ever. I'll show you guys in a second. Look at these circular ice cubes. They're actually like a vibe enhancer. I'm gonna make my coffee with them because we need to start the day off strong. I'll link the molds um, on Amazon that I purchased and it also came with this ice bucket and also a scoop. The thing is with our fridge, it makes ice cubes, but they're not filtered water. So we make our own filtered water ice cubes now and it's like the best thing ever. And these circle ice cubes are just so satisfying and so cute. shower i put my pjs kind of back on but i just wanted to enjoy this coffee while doing some emails before getting started for the reset for today so let's enjoy this and then we'll get ready and start the reset cheers to summer 2024 baby summer after summer i am always wondering how do some girls always look so glowy what products are they using to achieve this look and i'm literally so happy because i finally found out how and the solution to my problems so if you guys want to look like a freaking glowing goddess in the summer you have to use the osea undaria algae body oil this is the product of the summer so i'm going to apply the body oil right now to show you guys this is my before so if you guys have never heard of osea before they're clean clinically proven skincare from the sea their formulas are made with a unique blend 
of potent seaweed and botanicals. So it's naturally derived ingredients. And also they're a mother-daughter founded company. Every single time I pump this bottle, I am just like in heaven with the smell. It is literally like summer in a bottle. It smells like heaven. What I especially love about them is sustainability is at the heart of their brand. So everything from their packaging to their products, it's all sustainable. Their brand is also vegan and cruelty-free, which is amazing. I've always been scared to use body oils because the ones that I've used in the past have made me look so greasy. But this one hydrates me, makes me look so glowy, but it doesn't make me greasy at all. It just makes me feel so hydrated and like I'm glowing from within. It is also proven to improve your skin elasticity and deliver very deep moisturization. This stuff gives you such instant gratification. You do not have to wait to see results. Like I just applied this and my skin is already literally glowing. I'm going to be carrying this with me everywhere. It's gonna go in my beach bag, it's gonna stay in my home. They have a travel size and then a normal size. So this one, she's coming in my beach bag and I'm so excited to be like one of those girls this summer that everybody's like, how does she look so moisturized and glowy? And this is my little secret potion right here. So I'm gonna keep this one in my bathroom and also like they're so aesthetic, they can just be on your counters and look like a decoration. So if you guys wanna use my code to get 10% off, my code is Michaela Glow for 10% off. So go click the link in my description and check them out. I'm telling you products of the summer, I'm gonna be reapplying like all the time because they're great. I am now ready for the day. I am ready to commence. Our summer reset 2024. Um, I wrote a few things down, so I'm gonna read you guys the list of what I want to get done today and tomorrow. Cause I feel like leaving it all up to one day is kind of daunting. It's like, I don't know if I could do that much in one day. So we're gonna be resetting over the next two days and I'm gonna bring you guys along. So I'm gonna read out what I wrote down. First thing, on the list was to get my body moving and work out we did that great to have something checked off second thing closet clean out baby i have not cleaned out my closet since we moved in like a year ago guys this is actually really insane i have an overflow of clothing i barely have space anymore in my closets and my drawers i don't wear half of my clothes i have like a cycle of clothes that i rewear and rewear and i am not planning on changing that and then whenever i get something new it just gets jammed in and i hate that you know so i just want to really do a huge clothing detox go through my drawers take everything out of my closet and just revamp my clothes that needs to happen for the summer season. Third thing on the to-do list is to clean my garage. I have been putting this off since we moved in again. I bought these plastic bin organizers so long ago and I have not yet used them to organize the garage. So that needs to be done today or tomorrow for this reset because I'm telling you, my garage needs to be cleaned. And I'm so excited to get it cleaned because it is a monstrous disaster right now. And I don't even know how we have so much stuff, but we do. I just need a declutter for this new season, honestly, and just organize and I will feel so much better. The next thing that I really want to do is go buy a summer book. I just want something to read to get me in the summer spirit so i'm going to be going to chapters because i asked you guys for some recommendations in one of my last videos and you guys came through so we're going to go buy a book i want to clean my car she needs a clean and i always neglect cleaning my car it's like one of those things that you don't think of doing but it makes such a big difference and then i also want to make a summer pinterest board to just like encompass what i want in the summer fashion wise and everything and i just kind of want to make like a summer bucket slash goals list of what i want the summer to look like so yeah that is my hefty summer reset list that we're gonna get done in today's video um i hope you guys enjoy i'm not gonna do like things in order so i'm not sure what order i'm gonna do them in depends what i'm feeling so let's start this by revamping my closets and clothes <laughs> dreading that so i'm gonna start with my drawers as you can see they're just filled to the brim of things i don't even wear I have like 10 pairs of jeans. Realistically, I only wear two because not all of them fit me properly. So I really just want to get rid of the styles that I don't like and I don't wear. I just have this full drawer of hats and I don't wear and use all of these things. I don't even know what this drawer is anymore, you know? So I really just want to organize all of these drawers. I can barely even open my pajama drawer. That is embarrassing. Let's start with doing this. I think what I'm going to do is take absolutely everything out of the drawers I want to organize and then we will sort and organize from there and then put everything back. Let's get into it.
so I organized all my hats beautiful I got rid of a couple so these are all the hats that I actually really like and wear and then over here I just put all my jeans and i tried most of them on to make sure that they're good these are jeans that i'll actually wear and honestly i forgot i had certain pairs of jeans because they were tucked away so very happy about this honestly i don't really wear these but keeping them because they're a really good pair of like leather pants for that one occasion if i ever need them so i feel like it's just good like staple to have so i'm gonna keep them so all good for this drawer everything fits perfectly and then i put my cargo pants in here and then my yoga pants and my skirts so i I feel like this is way more well organized now and there's actually room in here and then in here i just organized my pajamas everything is nice and organized and i got rid of a few things so this is a sleigh also now it's like so organized that i know everything i have whereas before i didn't on second thought i actually think i'm gonna come in and get rid of these because i i don't know i just associate these with two years ago i never wear them anymore they're like really cute fit and everything but i just don't think i'm gonna be wearing them anymore i just like hate getting rid of cute pieces like that i might regret it's just I'm always just like i don't know what to do okay now for my closet this needs a big or reorganization and clean this down below here is my shorts drawer i'm so bored of my shorts i've had them for years now and i want to just revamp this drawer over here i have my sweatpants and and then my activewear is in these two, two drawers, which I need to get rid of so much activewear and stuff. So I'm going to take everything out and do the whole shebang here. Declutter here. These two sides of things needs to go. So let's work our way up. Let's start with the bottom and go up. So I feel like this was two, three years ago now, maybe. These Aritzia shorts were so in style. The problem is, though, now when I put them on, I'm like, they're not baggy enough for me. They're so tight fitting. Like I got these in like an extra small. And now I would not wear them because they're like too form fitting. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my Aritzia shorts because I have like a lot of these. I have at least like four pairs. Just try them on, see how they fit, potentially get rid of them. This breaks my heart because they're Aritzia, like they're good quality. But I don't know if I'm, just, I don't know if, I don't think I'm going to be wearing them because I haven't touched them in a long, long time. And I even have these cute yellow ones. I think I'm just going to have to try them on and see the vibes um, and then I'll go from there. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I'll decide just because ever a year i feel like it just keeps getting baggier and baggier and i love myself a good baggy i don't want to go just based off trends and throw away things that are not trendy because trends are always changing so i need to make sure that it's like something that i know i'll wear again or something that i like then i'll keep it regardless of the trends but if i just don't like it anymore then i'm gonna have to throw that throw it out because it's just taking mindless space up in my closet you know it's like it all scares me like oh my god what if i like them again in the future then i threw them all out so i don't know guys it's like this constant cycle when i look through my clothes that i just it's annoying <laughs> here's the tea so do you see these shorts i don't really like them like this at all they're not baggy enough high-waisted not in i don't like them but as i was trying these shorts on i'm like oh my goodness hold up by folding the waistband and like pushing them down a little bit oh my goodness i would totally wear these just with the waistband folded down and it makes them so much cuter so with all those shorts i was just showing you guys all i have to do is fold the waistband down and they can be repurposed so this is like a new way that i can wear my shorts that i'm so bored of and it brings them into like a new light even though it's like just as simple as folding down the waistband it makes them 10 times cuter so that's a little tip if you guys are bored of your high-waisted shorts try just fold folding them down and i actually will be wearing them so that's a slay i'm glad i figured that out and like tried them on you know honestly trying on your clothes really does make a difference because you can remember that you have it and then make some modifications <laughs> activewear get rid of some and i just need to be so good about getting rid of some because i actually have so much more than i wear so let's look through this and actually get rid of some activewear
reorganization that I did. I have never paired my matching sets together and I find it kind of super annoying sometimes when I'm trying to look through everything. So these are all my matching sets here. These are all like my rompers slash one pieces. So these are all together. There's extra room if I need to put anything else. Over here on the left, I got my leggings. I got my top slash sports bras and then I got my biker shorts right here. So yeah, that is the new organization. I have so many black leggings I never even realized, but they're all kind of different materials. So I wear black leggings all the time. So it's nice having a lot. But anyway, so that's my new organization. It's so much better and I got rid of a bunch of activewear that I just wasn't using anymore. Super happy about this and it just feels so good that I cleared it out and now it's so organized. I'm now going to look through my shirts here hung up and see what I can get rid of slash just like reorganize them. <laughs> final closet i put that aritzia bag there because i think it actually looks so cute it's literally like a picture frame and i love it I just have a bag of purses at the bottom and then just this bin that doesn't fit that way so it looks funny but it's okay i basically cleared out everything i have a huge black bag of stuff that i threw out so much leftover hangers and it just feels so good i did the top rack as well the sweatsuits oh my gosh guys this feels amazing to have it cleared out now i have this closet to do this closet is a beast and i am really dreading looking through it but i have no space in this closet this is all sweaters and then this is all like turtlenecks and then dresses on the left this just needs a whole revamp like i have not been through this in so long so i'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible because i've been taking so long <laughs> Here is the closet. I'm like out of breath from doing that. So what I did was I color coordinated the hoodies, the crew necks, and then the zip ups. So I put them in three different different sections. So wherever you see black is where a new pattern starts just so i can have it separated by each style so i know what i'm looking for i just went through here quickly and i got rid of a bunch of stuff and hangers so she is now rejuvenated this closet is so hard to film because it's like half and half but i think you guys could see okay i only got to really doing a full closet clean out today i intended to do a little bit more but that's okay tomorrow we're gonna go ham on the garage but i feel like since i was sick and i'm still like on the tail end of being sick feeling a lot better but doing those closets just took it out of me i seriously felt like i just ran a mile or something that was a lot of work i just feel like on my body since being sick but i honestly feel so good that my closets are clean and organized it's something i've been wanting to do for so long and it just feels so amazing that she's done so really thankful i got that done today i actually just made an order for the aritzia clientele sale today so i will do a haul not in this vlog but in one of my probably like i mean I'm planning on doing a so, so like summer glow videos so or probably in that vlog i don't think you guys have been in the vlog yet today i wanted to like touch on my summer bucket list a bit but i'm not gonna go too into depth because we did that on the podcast already and we talked about summer so i feel like i'm just repeating myself if you guys watch the podcast let me scroll on pinterest put a few photos together and then we'll talk about them because i feel like that'll be better so i'm gonna go onto pinterest right now on my ipad and add a bunch of like summer vibe photos and that'll be like my summer vision board i'm not actually gonna put it into a vision board but i'm just gonna have like a pinterest board up so let's do a bit of scrolling and make a cute pinterest board because i feel like i just want to be cute with style this summer and switch things up so gotta get that inspo from pinterest <laughs> So I just saved a bunch of photos. The overall vibe of the summer that I'm planning on or manifesting, careless vibes, cottage core, like farm girl energy, out in nature a lot, but also like going out girl. Like I want to make a bunch of plans. I want to just 
go have a fun sporadic beach day go out for dinner dress cute a lot take lots of cute digital photos eat lots of fresh fruit go to the farmer's market also adidas boy shorts little boy adidas shorts are so in the summer wearing it with like a good girly tank so in the summer i need to go thrifting to find more those are like all i wore for soccer which is so funny and now they're like coming back in style so i need to get more of those i want to get like every single color i need to go thrifting so i'm going to be doing a whole glow up video like i already said and I'll go thrifting in that video. So you guys need to come along because I want to hit like so many thrift stores in one day. I want to go like berry picking. I want to eat lots of fresh berries. I want to play tennis, get back into tennis, just being at the ocean, be tan, glowy, and just feel confident. There's just like a different energy when it comes to summer. You just feel like sun-kissed and radiant. But yeah, those are my overall vibes, as you can see. I feel like there's no point in putting them into a vision board right now because I'm always just gonna be adding more. And if I wanna like get inspiration, I'll just go back to the board anyway. So it's not a big deal. But those are my summer 2024 vibes. Also a lot of like filmmaking for my vlogs. Like I wanna get a drone, get really cool shots, lots of hikes. I wanna make these vlogs sick for you guys. Very cinematic. Picnic, oh my gosh, reading. Mm. I can't wait. I just like want to maximize this summer. I am going to be making plants. I'm going to be out of the house. Just something fun. Like every day I'm going to try to make an effort to make it somehow fun and really soak in the summer because it's only here for so long. And I just want to appreciate it to the absolute max. So that's my summer 2024 wavelength. So get on it with me. I'm going to head to bed now because we have a long day of cleaning tomorrow. Still have lots to do for the reset. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go to the gym and stuff, I won't film that, but once I get back home, we're gonna get into it with the garage cleaning. I'm kind of dreading it, cause I know it's gonna be so treacherous, but it'll be good. Okay, good night guys. See you tomorrow for another long day. Good night. reset grocery haul i haven't been grocery shopping in oh girl mm -mm -mm. <laughs> i haven't been grocery shopping in a long time so we needed to reset for the summer with a good grocery haul got two avocados yam cucumber i wanted to get more like fresh produce and stuff because going into the summer i love eating more fresh stuff i got some chickpeas two cans some chicken nuggets just to have as like a last minute dinner if we're too lazy to cook it's always nice to have just something in the freezer for that i got a poppy i love the cola i got a ranch chocolate chips i got this yogurt this is my favorite dairy free yogurt because the ingredients are so good i got a zevia some milk some popcorn some kombucha my favorite um some lemon juice okay apparently she just wants to be at this grocery haul so I'm just gonna let her be. Um, I got three apples because whenever I buy a bag, I don't use them all and they go bad. So just three apples. Oh my gosh, I was gonna buy peanut butter and I totally forgot. That makes me really sad. I got some strawberries, some rice cakes. These are so good. Putting peanut butter, honey, banana, and cinnamon on top for like a little snack. Love these. I got some granola. I've never tried this one before, so I'm excited to try it. I got some tortilla chips, some bananas, some lettuce, and then I got this turkey and ham got some little tomatoes some tofu and some coleslaw i also got a prime and this is my first time trying this flavor and it is so 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 sweet so what i did is i poured like half of this out into a cup and then i poured this coconut water to fill the other half and it tastes so much better now i cannot drink it straight up how it is it's just too sweet so this is like the perfect like sweetness and then i also have extra to have later really really good just super super sweet what are you doing 
<laughs> here is the embarrassing state of the garage that i need to do a whole reset on right now we're gonna clean it as best as we can and hopefully make her look presentable it's far too overdue and she just needs to be cleaned so i'm really really actually excited to get it all nice you can actually walk in here because that would be nice wouldn't it i wonder how long this is gonna take me i guess we'll see Guys, this was a task and a half. I didn't even realize how much shit that we would have to sort through, get rid of, and not everything in the garage was mine. So I can really only do so much without Joel's help just because half of it was his, so he kind of needs to be there to help me do it. So I did as much as I could. The garage is still not where I want it to be, but after cleaning for literally three hours straight, um, I kind of realized that this is going to be a long-term project rather than just do it in one day because we are planning on now buying shelves for their garage to organize it and just more bins. So this is as best as I got it, but we're planning on getting it sorted throughout the summer. Honestly, the hardest part was just starting it, but I did get a good head start and it already looks so much better. Like at least we can walk in it. So still happy with it. Hey guys, so I just arrived at Chapters. We are going to get a book for the summer. I just feel like I want a summer vibe book that I can bring to the beach and just read for fun because I mostly read self-help books and I love them, but it's also nice to switch up and read like a story. So I just want like a physical storybook and I'm going to look at my YouTube comments right now because I asked in one of my last vlogs for rec summer book recommendations to get me in the mood for summer. And like I said, you guys came through. I'm going to look through that right now and then pick one off of the list that you guys gave me if there's like one in common that you guys said. And now I'm trying to figure out what video I, I asked this in. Okay, just for the summer, happy place, Malibu rising. Just for the summer, love and other words evie summer after happy place the summer will be different okay I'm gonna screenshot that i think i'm just gonna go in there see what i can find just for the summer because this was recommended by a few people and all had that in common and also it was so meant to be because i'm not even kidding you i walked in the bookstore and i was with joel i randomly just went in a random aisle and joel had to take a call there and i was just standing there and i was looking at my youtube comments and i see that you guys recommended this book that's one that you guys all had in common so i'm like oh i should try to find that one so I literally look up and the book is right in front of me, like right there in like within all the books though, like in the romance section. And I didn't even realize I was in the romance section. Like I completely went into chapters just like frolicking. Like I wasn't even aware of where I was going. I could have been in the science section for all I know. But seriously, it was just so meant to be that the book was right in front of me. So I'm like, okay, obviously I'm meant to be reading this. So it's called Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. And I'm so excited to read it this is gonna be like my beach book and i'm bringing her to the beach she's quite thick so yeah there is like 400 pages so that's good it'll last me a while so thank you guys so much for your recommendations you really did pull through and yeah i'm super excited to read this and get in the summer vibe so that kind of concludes this reset thank you guys so much for watching and for resetting for summer with me i feel like it's so important to do it's a new season you know go in with clear good energy and it seriously makes the world of a difference i love resetting for every season because it's kind of like almost a mini new beginning in a way and it just feels really good so i really encourage you guys to do the same even if it looks different from mine just do things that make you happy that reset your energy and i promise you it'll just like make you feel so good going into the next season so anyways if you guys watched up until this point in the video comment a book and a beach emoji any beach emoji and i will know that you're a true one and you stay to this point i love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my podcast Go to my Instagram, follow me on TikTok, everywhere. You know what to do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Happy summer, babes.